All right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kemp. I'm your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 48. And I was going through some videos in preparation for today's episode, and I realized that I never released the footage that you are about to see. From our private, special permission access to the Pyramid of Sahure at Abu Sir during the Land of Kem 2022 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour. This is a site that is inaccessible to the public without special permission from the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. And I just couldn't let this sit around without being revealed because during this site expedition, we finally discovered the termination of the conduit system leading from the Eastern Temple and the basin that collected the chemical that was being produced inside of the pyramid itself. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget, click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned. If you wanna help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section for exclusive research and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. And thelandofchem.com if you wanna pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Camp. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin, if you're new to the channel or haven't seen it yet, I presented all of the archaeological research that is relevant to today's site visit in episode 90, the Pyramid of Sahure Conduits and Reaction Chamber. So check that out if you want to get caught up. But one question that remained unanswered in my investigation of this site was the termination of the conduit system, leading from the five basins and copper piping network located within the Eastern Temple, a system that you can see here which transported the chemical being produced inside of the main pyramid in this direction, down to the Valley Temple for collection and distribution. And this conduit system continues down the entire causeway toward the Valley Temple. And these are a few images from the Asita Project Expedition in 2010, where a piece of this conduit system as it entered the Valley Temple was still visible, as you can see here. Unfortunately, this component has now been completely reburied and it is no longer exposed for examination. However, I knew that there had to be a termination and collection point somewhere within this Valley Temple. And as we explored the ruins of this site, we found exactly what we were looking for, located right here. A circular limestone basin embedded within the floor of the temple that has a channel connected in from the west, leading directly into the temple from the causeway system. The idea that this conduit network and collection basin system is for rainwater drainage is completely preposterous and unsubstantiated, as the entire conduit network is connected into basins that were inside of the temple itself, which had a roof. They were collecting something that was being processed inside of this temple, and it had to be extremely valuable to justify the installation of all of this infrastructure. Chemicals are one of the most valuable commodities that we as a modern society are producing. And the same was true of these ancient aqueous chemical solutions that perhaps contained dissolved particles of other valuable materials. And for now, I will leave it at that. And I hope that you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 48 from our private special permission access to the Pyramid of Sahure in Abu Sir. And as I was discussing in Saqqara, the flooding of the Nile River, you see in through this area here, bringing water directly 
to the Valley Temple. Say you do it with the tools. You have a vibr tools, it, 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 vibrating tool. I'm not saying I know how they did that, but if you have that, then you explain absolutely everything. You have the, the easiness of you have the scoop marks, you use simple shaped tools. And if you look over here in the corner, there are pieces of red granite still in place. There are a number of fragments that have tool drills or, or tubular drills here in this area as well. And we'll start over here and just walk straight up the causeway. And if we still have some time on the way out, we can walk back through this area, but we have a lot of ground to cover. Lawrence! Up this causeway, there's a channel all the way down through here, which gets wider toward the base. And it goes all the way back up to the channel system within the pyramid itself. And when we get to the Eastern Temple, they found five basins. Like we just saw. Very similar to what we just saw within this temple. May have also been sheeted with copper. And this is the pyramid where they found all of the copper tubing and piping underneath the floor of the temple. And what is it currently uh, publicized as the case? So this is fifth Dynasty. So, Nahore, Neferkare, and Nyusere. Three different pharaohs, correct. And Mo, I'm going to walk down this way to Nyusere and Nefrakare, and then we'll come back and finish up here. Okay. Jeffrey. Yes. We need to ask us. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's take this back? modern walkway here to the left, and then we'll come back down on the ancient causeway. So this is modern restoration. Correct. Yeah. This is a modern walkway here. Tension walls, keeping water in and out of certain areas. But do they have it? Yeah, you can kind of see it. There's like a ridge. Yeah, so the ridge going down. This one? So that's up for speculation. There is a channel running down the center of it. I don't know if anyone has actually gone inside the causeway to see if there's anything subterranean running beneath the system. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some the music holder in the hollow on the inside, correct. And I, I, I agree with that and I like that interpretation. Like a pipe? Correct. Right. For what? Um, you know, again, intuitively, that seems consistent with the construction methodology of the entire plateau. I mean, there's subterranean shafts running underneath everything. Pretty good. So there was an entire second floor to this temple. You'll see some stairways that are still evident. What happened to the entire second floor of the temple should be the question. But all of the original archaeologists 
do indicate that there was a second floor because of the stair systems that are still here. This temple system used to house a system of five basins. I've also shown the lead plug that was found in one of the holes. Where is this lead plug other than in the pictures that they show from the original excavations? That's a very good question. But the photos in board charts book do show this lead plug. Again, lead being a metal that we don't really hear associated with dynastic Egypt, but they certainly did have lead sulfides. Access to, it, right? Access to these metals and materials. A lot of this stuff Yes, yeah, so you can see here on the inner casing, some of this red material that's very similar to what we saw on the casing stones at the Red Pyramid. This is a really shaped hole. So here inside, this, this red coating, this red paint, still evident on the inside of this little chamber. And this is what's known as one of the entrances into this structure. Yeah, so there's there's two drills all through this site. There's one there, and there's a lot of them that still show housings or the mechanism that was placed therein. So here is a perfect example. This one always kind of blows my mind. If you're interested in the tube drills and the components that are missing from here, take a look at this one. And you can see the faceted housing here. This is all broken off, but Jesus. there was a component that was housed in here. It's described by the early archaeologists as door hinges. So they were metal door hinges that went into here that, you know, it's a door mechanism. Certainly uh -huh. seems a pretty deep fitting for a door hinge mechanism. You will see some at the bottom of the entrance that do appear to be swinging door hinges but they're down at the bottom these to me imply something a little bit more advanced than just a door hinge or a you know a gate component but that's that's what they show in board charts publication and so here as we saw at the pyramid of Nayusare and Nefercare, the layering of the black basalt with the limestone core, here you'll see red granite with the limestone core. And over here on your left is another tube drill with a missing component. These are all over the site. More quarrying here, and one interesting thing I found about this site is the, the deterioration of the limestone in the center here. So you'll see significantly eroded and deteriorated limestone that was the core, and then the casing of the red granite. Yeah. Yep. And so Olga was just mentioning, you know, acidic rain. And there's pock marks in the top of these mm -hmm. stones that are indicative of acidic rain. Or people may think acidic gases, sulfur trioxide, hydrogen chloride gas, if any of that escapes into the atmosphere, it's going up into the clouds producing acidic rain, which could have created these type of erosion patterns that you see on the Giza Plateau and other sites. So here, as we enter the core of the site, there, there's several ways that we can access this, but I'll, I'll start to show you here. So this is the channel system. So you'll see here this channel or conduit that runs all the way through here. It branches off in this direction here and we'll follow this conduit kind of through the site. So you can see the stairways here that were leading up to the second floor of the temple. Here on the left, this conduit was again fitted with a copper pipe that was mortared into place. So they found the mortar and they found the copper pipe. Straight up to the north.
show the unfortunate opening to the structure. And if you know how to read Arabic numbers, this was done in 2023. What? So now that I finally know how to read Arabic numbers, this is two, zero, two, three. So this is March 14th, 2023. <laughs> I know, I, Iowa. I, <clears throat> doctor. So this is a very recent closure to the structure. Just this year, they decided to seal off this entrance for good. Has anyone you know been in it? So the Asita Project. So I'm just kind of keeping up with All right, so again, here, you can see limestone core cased in red granite. So you're looking at a huge, thick limestone core. There are red granite casing stones on the outside. And you'll see here as we cross back through the threshold of this threshold, there's more and more. This is more like what I would call the forehead. And you can see here on the floor. Yep. Absolutely. These are for posts. They've been, they've been reinforced with the boss. Right, right. And there's another right. hole here. There's the roof right there. Yep. So again, these had posts that went down into the floor and there was most likely a saloon door type of mechanism here that gave you access into the temple, the threshold of the temple itself. Now these deep tube drills, I think are indicative of something different yeah. that was housed in there. I mean, oh, when you look at these, you'll see it's a very big, big difference between a door hinge hmm. for a saloon door type yeah, that one looked like it was locking in place. Correct. So these are they're they're very different components, I think, than what was housed in the the two drills. Okay. All right. So over here on the right, again, you see the stars that once adorned the ceiling of this temple. It's not round, it's an oval. <laughs> That's much harder. Yeah, but wouldn't that give it the, uh, uh, instead of just the turn, it would be like motion with the turn? So when we go to the Egyptian Museum, you will see some components that are metal hinged door posts, that it's a metal rectangular frame that would have gone on the corner of the door, and there's a metal post that would have gone down into the ground. So there's actually, metal mechanisms that would have fit down into that, that that are still in the Egyptian Museum. Again, all of this is kind of, you know, out for the jury's decision. Nobody knows exactly what was housed in there because the stuff has been completely removed and taken out of here. And then here you can see more of the green copper oxide that adorns these hieroglyphs. And I think that you all will agree that this is a very different quality of hieroglyphs and some of the stuff that we saw in the Serapium. These are very exquisitely hard. This would have actually been underneath paving stones. 
head out in this direction here and go back to the bus. Awesome. So but this is the Valley Temple of the Pyramid of Sahore. Also may have been a part of the harbor system. pointing out the inlet here see that rectangular oh, inlet it. that leads directly back toward where that conduit from the pyramid would have flowed down here through the causeway and possibly into this circular depression or basin here I've been looking like for the termination to that conduit system and I knew that it was located here in the valley temple of the pyramid of Sahure it looks like we may have just found it All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 48 from our special permission access to the Pyramid of Sahore at Abu Sir. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode of the series, I will return to investigate the function of Silbury Hill and the adjacent West Kennet Long Barrow. This is an episode you do not want to miss. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. If you're interested in the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats and Egypt Eats. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for today's video, so I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.